I don't want Gucci or Prada. I mean, sure, if I find it at the bins, I would probably pick it up, but I would be so nervous listing those items. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and my very first video. Thank you for being here. My name is Veronica. I am a part-time reseller. I sell primarily women's clothing on the platforms Poshmark, Mercari, eBay and Kitizen and occasionally also ThreadUp. And I'm starting this channel to kind of document my journey as a part-time reseller and to bring you videos um, on reselling, thrifting, unboxings, haul videos, all that good stuff. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you and uh, I would appreciate it if you check out my videos and uh, follow me along on this journey. Uh, like I said, this is my very first video, so um, I hope the lighting, sound, setup, everything is kind of working out, but it is a learning curve for me. So yeah, maybe you're just into watching embarrassing first-time YouTuber videos and that's your jam, so that's cool too. Okay, uh, first things first, um, this is going to be a thread up unboxing, but before we get into this big old box that I got here, I need to give a quick shout out to Posh Bus Blake for this amazing reseller sweater or sweatshirt. It says, uh, same ship, different day. I absolutely love it and I intend to wear it um, all throughout December and then probably the rest of the year as well. So, uh, it's amazing. I absolutely am in love with it. Okay, so um, we will dig into this box. This is the 25 item women's mixed clothing box. Um, I paid $60 for it plus... $5.99 shipping. So that comes out to about $2.60 per item. And this is the first time I'm getting this box. I've gotten a denim rescue box before and uh, that one was not so great. Um, so we'll see how this one how this one goes. I have not looked at anything in here yet. Uh, I did cut it open right before I started filming. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out together. I don't know how horrible this is going to be. So there should be 25 items in here. And yeah, let's dig in together. And as I'm pulling these out and showing them off, let's just chat a little bit and I'll tell you more about myself. So I am a part-time reseller. Uh, I do have a full-time job. I uh, actually teach college German. I'm a lecturer. And yeah, I do reselling on the side. I started at the very end of 2019 so it's December 2020 now and yeah it's been almost a year since I started and I'm really enjoying it hey oh I, I already see a lot of interesting stuff so let's see what we got here uh, I will say uh, if, if you've maybe noticed that I do have an accent it's because I'm not actually American I'm originally from Germany and so I will try to do my best not to butcher any brand names so, let's see what we got here. We got a skirt. Uh, sort of a is it a maxi? It's a maxi skirt, I would say. It's kind of a off-white color, black and white. Has this really interesting print. It smells kind of funny. So we'll definitely wash this. What is this print? Um, it's kind of a little bit of everything here. I don't know what this is. Um, the brand. Let's see. Oh, Zara. Zara Basic. And it just kind of ties on the side. Has a zipper closure. And at first glance, I don't see anything wrong with it. So let's see. 100% uh, cotton. It may not have a size. That may have been the issue. I'm assuming that's why ThreadUp didn't take it because it needs to have a size tag for ThreadUp to take it. Oh yeah, I actually see, I think I see where it was cut off. But that, I'm going to list this. If, if this is the only thing that's wrong with it, I will totally list this. Somebody is going to love this. And like I said, yeah, it's probably, I don't know, 
like a medium-ish. It looks like it's in really good shape. It actually kind of feels like linen, um, but it's cotton and it's, I, you know, it might actually be a navy, uh, not black. So different lighting, I'll figure that out. I will list that. So we have one that we're going to list. I'm gonna try and sort through these. So, okay, um, what is this? Trying to figure this out. It's some sort of top. Okay, Bobo, Bobo. I see this brand at the thrift store all the time and I never pick it up. I don't think it's anything special. It's a size small, but it's cute. Yeah, so it's a size small, just a basic top. Oh, did I just see a flaw? Nope, not yet. Um, obviously, I will look these over more closely um, and see if anything is wrong with it. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, if I don't see any flaws, if I don't find anything wrong with it, I will totally list this. Get like, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks for it. And we'll see how much we'll get for that. Okay, next up we got J. Crew pencil skirt. Just a sort of dusty blue basic pencil skirt. It's a size two cotton spandex. I don't know if this is the number two pencil skirt that I keep hearing about that apparently used to do well but doesn't do well anymore. So I don't know. I don't know if it needs to say that anywhere. I don't really pick up J. Crew uh, unless it's really cute. Yeah, I don't see anything else in here. It's kind of a thicker material. Um, I don't feel like listing this to be honest. It's just skirts don't do well for me, um, at, at least not, you know, little career pencil skirts. So I'm going to put this in the uh, pile that I will look at later and decide. It might go in this box and go back to the other. Next up is, what is this, Under Armour? Yes. And it's just a pair of little shorts, workout, work, work out, oh god, can't talk workout shorts they are size medium um they look to be in good shape it's not something i would wear but has kind of like dots all over um yeah they seem to be all right no no obvious staining in any uh problematic areas so always check the crotch people okay this one I have no idea what this brand is. 3TS Studio. I don't know if this is showing up. It is a tunic top. I don't know what this is. What is this? It's asymmetrical. I don't know if it's a dress. Like a junior's girl's dress, maybe? interesting. Uh, everything in this box smells kind of funky, but mm, I don't mind picking up weird stuff, but there are just certain things that I just don't need to deal with. So that's going to be donated. There's good weird, and then there's just don't want to list it weird. Okay, I see a print here that I just need to pull out because I'm intrigued. It's this uh, elephant print. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. Uh, it's crown and ivy. Showing up. Yeah. If you spend any amount of time in your local thrift store, you've probably seen this brand. It's they kind of have these loud, almost Lily Pulitzer type prints, and honestly, I'm always drawn to this brand. I think they make such cute stuff. It doesn't sell. This is an extra small, so that's an additional challenge, but it has this fun elephant print all over, and it's just it's adorable. If this was my size, I would totally, totally keep this. Oh, I will list this and it's going to sit in my closet forever and not sell and that's okay. I mean, that's not okay. That's not the business model, but I will try to sell this. So far, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too uh, disappointed. So it's the stuff that's, it's nothing too exciting, but it's all so far 
it's sellable with the exception of that one denim number over there. Okay, we got J. Crew. What is it? Factory outlet. One with the dots. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is older label J. Crew, and it's an extra extra small. So I have the hardest time selling small sizes like this. It is cute. It's like a little peplum uh, top. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one. I'm putting it with the uh, J. Crew skirt that I also am on the fence about. So we'll see. This next item looks like dress pants, and I absolutely hate, hate listing and photographing dress pants. However, it is theory, which retails for a ton of money and does not resell for a lot. They are, so is this wine, burgundy, maroonish color, tapered leg, zipper on the side, size 6. I mean, they're not horrible. It's just a matter of deciding if I want to deal with this. If I if I want to spend time on these or not, they might go back to thread up, and we'll give it we'll give it another try. Um, I'll look them over again and decide later. So they're in the maybe pot. Okay, what is this? This is a mini dress. Oh boy, this is gonna be hard to show. Um, Sort of a party dress. This is actually this lace stuff here is the back. Um, I don't even I don't even know how to hold this up. Um, so it has this lace detail and a zipper in the back. Otherwise, it's just like a white dress, mini dress, sort of party cocktail dress with this whole cutout in the back. It's impossible to show this thing. Uh, the brand. You may have guessed it. It's fast fashion. Uh, it's Sheen or Shein. Uh, I occasionally pick up this brand, especially if it's plus size, because it does sell. It doesn't sell for a lot, but it sells. I do not support this brand because they have horrible business practices. Um, this is a size medium. I will list it uh, begrudgingly. <laughs> Like I said, I don't I don't like supporting these brands, but because it's thrifted, I feel like it's already out there in the world. And you know, if I can give it a new home and I get twelve, fifteen dollars, it's all good. So I think I will list this unless I find anything wrong with it. Okay, next up is oh, okay, a sweater, and it's just a plain black sweater in the front, and then the party kind of is in the back with this lace-up detail. The brand is Aqua Cashmere, and it's 100% cashmere, as you may have guessed. I don't know what this brand is. I don't know if it's any good, but it is a cashmere sweater. It's a size small. Um, I will have to look this over and just make sure it doesn't have any holes, but I will totally list this. I don't like photographing black items. It's just, it's hard to make them look good, but it's cashmere. Hopefully that will help sell this. And I have to research the brand um, and see if it's any good. Um, maybe it's super amazing and I've never heard of it. That could always happen. Okay, I'm not excited for whatever this is, but let's see. Some sort of rain jacket that, oh, hold on. That might actually, oh, that. That might actually be good. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how to say the bread. Is it Marmo or Marmot? I think that's a good brand. Okay, with this, this is where my uh, lack of knowledge is showing. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I feel like I've heard about this brand and it's actually uh, really good. And it has the, uh, the Gore-Tex little tag in it. So this is actually probably good. And I'm just being super ignorant. And uh, if you haven't turned off uh, the video yet, thank you <laughs> for sticking it out with me. Uh, it's an extra small, it's a women's extra small. It just, it feels just very plasticky. That's why I thought it's probably just like a, you know, like a totes rain jacket. So, but I, I'm pretty sure this is actually good. I will have to look it up, but yeah. And it's a good season to list something like that. I don't know why ThreadUp 
either didn't take it or why it didn't sell. So maybe it's not a great brand. I don't know. I'll find out. But I will do some research on this and list this. Okay. I'm seeing a brand I'm not excited about, so let's just pull this out. Also in a color I'm not excited about, but that's a different story. I don't have to wear it. This is L, which I believe is sold at, where is that sold? Kohl's, JCPenney, one of those. Uh, has stains too, so I might just donate that or send it back to Fred up. It's a size large, so it would probably fit me. And it's not really showing up on camera, but it's this, it's like a minty green with these, um, what are they called? That pleated? I don't even know. <sighs> this is going swimmingly. Um, I know this is a Peter Pan collar. I know that much. Um, but it is, it's a cute little career top. Somebody might want to wear that for their Zoom meetings. And if that stain comes out, I might just list it and get like 12, 15 bucks for it. So we got this little knit top too crazy but it is made well um, extra small made well I don't find made well a whole lot where I am and I'm always excited when I do but then it just doesn't do well so I don't know um, I will totally list this uh, I might be able to find like a cute stock photo of somebody wearing this and pairing it with some high-waisted mom jeans something like that uh, and yeah that should be like I don't know, 18 bucks maybe we'll see okay what is this all right now we've reached the is this a target brand i'm not sure it's hippie rose um i see this brand at the thrift all the time all the roses hippie rose pink rose there's there's a whole bunch of brands that all end in rose and they make really cute stuff it's just it's just cheap stuff that nobody wants so or nobody will pay a lot of money for um, but these are, I guess, sweatpants, probably. They're just little comfy pants, I guess. So, like, lounge pants. They are a size extra small. I might throw them in my 3 for 15 sale. I'm not sure. I'm going to put them on the maybe pile. Um, we'll see. We'll see if I feel like dealing with them. Um, it's not so much that I don't want to list cheaper items it's just is it worth my time to steam them list them you know that that sort of thing photograph them uh, i'm not in that order obviously steam them photograph them list them that's the order okay we got more j crew so this i probably will list because i is this a newer label i'm not the uh, j crew expert like i said i don't really pick it up uh size four um, and it has this like pleating and it's just a nice little shell career top bright blue simple career shirt I will probably list this it's kind of cute I have not counted um, to see if this is actually 25 items but so far the only thing I tossed was this denim number so okay more J crew uh, it's this sort of what is this is this chambray um, once I started reselling, I learned all these new terms and chambray was one of them and I still haven't really figured out what chambray is, but I think this is it, maybe. Uh, it's J. Crew Factory Size Medium Petite. Um, and it's just this basic shirt. Is it all the way buttoned down? No, it's just uh, halfway buttoned down. I don't know if that's a style. I uh, am totally butchering uh, your keywords here, but you didn't come here for the keywords, I hope. Don't come here for the keywords. I'm horrible with keywords. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is going to be in the maybe pile. Okay, the next one is black and has a golden trim. Oh, it's a Magashoni. Magashoni? Magashoni? Collection. So I have one shirt or top by this brand and I believe it retails for a lot, but I don't have a lot of interest on it and I have it priced relatively low. Uh, this is a size 4. It looks bigger than a size 4. It is a dress, a shift dress, I 
was going to say a sheep dress, but if it's a size 4, it definitely is a little bit looser fitting. It's cute. It has this sort of golden trim. Okay, this is adorable. Oh, I will absolutely list this. Uh, this box, by the way, came from Pennsylvania, which when I saw that, I was a little worried because I've heard bad things about the Pennsylvania boxes. But so far, I'm not mad. Oh, this is cute. What is that? Oh, okay, so it's nothing special, but it's cute. Uh, it's Eva Mendes for New York and Company. Uh, size large, just a... Is that a graphic tee, I guess? Uh with a lady dancing and it says salsa and cuba at the bottom it's cute you know somebody will wear that with jeans uh i think i will list that and potentially throw it in my 3 for 15 sale which i have at the bottom of my closet and i'm trying to get rid of those items so that i don't have to have a 3 for 15 sale anymore <sighs> but then i get stuff like that so We'll see. Okay, I see embroidery, and when I see embroidery, floral embroidery, I'm thinking Johnny was, but I don't think I will get this lucky. If I do, I will freak out. Okay, it's not Johnny was. It also doesn't feel very high end. It is Willow and Clay. I think it's one of those boutique brands. It's a size small. It needs to be buttoned up, but it is little button down blouse I guess uh, has like the balloon sleeves with a smocked cuff and has the smocking here as well this would look better if it was buttoned up but this is gonna look really cute in pictures look at this it's adorable okay I do see what's wrong with it um, like I said it buttons up but two of the button loops have come loose so so I don't know if I can fix this uh, but I sure will try I do have fabric glue I might just try and glue that in but it's look at this embroidery it's so cute I like this I will need to put work into this so I'm uh, making a new pile items that I want to list but that need work okay we still have a good bit left in here and I feel like I've been talking forever so I should probably try and speed this up okay I see something oh no tags sort of plaid checkered oh hello hello <laughs> okay um this is frame new with tags frame oh thread up thread up thread up thread up it's a size medium it retails for 195 dollars and it is a flat, checkered, whatever, um, button down up. I know there's a difference. I just don't care. <laughs> um, shirt. I don't know if this is a men's or if ThreadUp just thought this is a men's, but I don't know what to say. I, I hear the kids don't say, say I'm shook anymore, but I'm shook, okay? I had such low expectations for this box, and I got some new attack frame. I mean, where do we go from here? I don't even know. I don't even know, but here's some Bowden, which I'm also not mad about. Uh, Bowden... I believe this is the older tag. I really don't care if it's the older tag or not. Um, I do like Bowden. It's US size 8R, which is hard to read because it looked like RR, and I'm like, no, that's not a size. And it's a, what is this? It, it feels very soft. I don't know if it's wool. It is, and I cannot find a tag. I just find a lot of hair. So, definitely have to uh, figure out what to do with that. Bowden sometimes has their tags in weird places. Anyway. Uh, it is a nitty, nitty dress, long sleeve, sort of like a sweater dress, um, gray with this uh, little accent stripe below the bust, 
It's very cute. I would totally wear this if this was my size. I mean, it's not like exciting bony, but it's a great staple. I like it. Uh, it's cotton, viscose, nylon, cashmere, and angora, and rabbit hair. It does feel nice. It has human hair all over, but that's thread up for you. Okay, I have another black sweater dress, I guess. Juicy couture, look at that. I'm not mad at that either. It's very basic. It's a size small. I don't know if this is new, old, label, juicy. Uh, not a brand I pick up or find a lot, but if I ever find a Juicy Couture early 2000s uh, tracksuit with the word juicy all over the butt, I will pick that up and I will sell it. Because that's my youth right there. Um, I'm listing that. So pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty much listing everything so far. Uh, I might not list this. This is Kinar, Kinar. I don't know. I see this all the time. It's just some small brand, I guess. It's a size 10. Uh, and it's just a pair of shorts. This is very lightweight. Oh, it's linen and rayon. Rayon, rayon. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Does have pockets. Um, I might list that. Or send it back to thread up. Okay, this, whatever it is, looks very boring, but I might be eating my words. <clears throat> I mean, it is still very boring, but it is Diane von Furstenberg. I should say this in a more German way. Is she actually German? I think she is. Whew, embarrassing. So, in German, it would be, well, it wouldn't be Diane, it would be Diana, but uh, von Furstenberg. Um, it is a cropped, um, what's this called? Like it ties in the front into a knot right here. Okay, I'm not holding this up well. First video, bear with me. Um, but just like a basic white colored blouse, short, button down that ties in the front. It's cute. I mean, it's basic, but it's cute. It's not horrible. If I don't see any flaws or any stains, I will list that. If there are stains, I will try to get them out. Um, but it's cute. Okay, this, I don't know who this is, but it's new with tags and it's expensive. So I'm not sure if I've heard of this brand or person before, but it is Erin, Erin Featherston, Erin Featherston, new with tags. I'm going to guess that this is silk because it's expensive. Where's your tag? Your care tag. It's a red blouse. It's very sheer and thin. And it is 100% silk. This retails for $198. Size large, silk blouse, Erin Featherston. I have never heard of this brand before. Um, and high retail does not necessarily mean high resale value, but I'm not mad at a new tag $200 blouse. Okay, uh, the very last one in here is some sort of trench coat that I don't know what it is, but it looks exciting. So we'll see. I'm saving that for last. Um, we have another pair of dress pants, I believe. Yes, size six, so not that tiny. Um, they're Bardot, which I want to say I've heard before as a brand name, but I'm not sure. And they're just a pair of black dress pants. Again, kind of tapered, probably ankle length, skinny. Black. I'm gonna have to look these up and see if they're worth listing or not. We will find out. Um, so they're in my maybe pile. Okay, last item. This is... God, what is this? Oh, it has tags. Oh! Didn't know you made coats, but okay. It's new with tags. Sam Edelman. 
and it's a size small trench coat uh, it doesn't have a price but I'm gonna venture a guess that it's expensive okay so it does have some issues um, it has this leather or faux leather trim and there are some issues here and in some other areas but that's kind of minor in my opinion um, I would totally wear this if it was my size it is not it's a size small I'm more of a uh, large extra large girl um, it is beautiful it's kind of heavy um, and it z uh, has a zipper sorry I'm like very very overwhelmed with the fact that I got this Erin Feathers or whatever her name is um, the frame and Sam Edelman all new with tax I'm kind of I'm gonna need a minute to process this once I'm done here anyway the Sam Edelman I mean it has these quilted I don't know if this is showing up shoulders uh, it does have a few issues like I said with the trim it has a lot going on is what it does um, belted and yeah just lots of little accents and details it does have pockets um, but yeah it that is very exciting and it's the good a good time of the year I should not touch my face after touching these it's a good time of the year to list stuff like that so I will try to get that listed very soon it does have like I said all that pleather peeling going on um, but I will list this Whew. so I have no idea how much all of this is gonna go for but I will absolutely make my money back and then some um, a lot of times I feel like when I watch these unboxings um, people will say oh I will make my money back and I'm like okay but that's not the goal you're trying to make money so <laughs> I think I will at least triple no probably more um, my money on all of these items so I only had to toss one I have a few maybes um, I have one that I need to fix but overall this was a really good box and I almost feel like this was more than 25 items so let's count real quick we got the Sam Edelman uh, we got the Erin something something we got Diane we got the Juicy oh I'm not actually counting so one, two, three, four. Bonus five. We got the Eva six. This Magashoni seven. Madewell eight. We got L. That's nine. We got the Marmo Marmot ten. Cashmere sweater eleven. Sheen Sheen twelve. I kind of feel like I should not be listing the Sheen now that I got the frame and all of that. But anyway, uh, Crown and Ivy, I will list it. 13. Crown and Ivy is the hill I will die on. I just, I love them. <laughs> uh, what did I say? 13. Uh, frame, 14. Under Armour, 15. This little number, which I actually might, don't need, I don't know. Uh, 16. The Zara, 17. We got more J. Crew. that's 18. The one I'm tossing is 19. This number, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We got 27 items. Fred is back in my good graces. Not so much for selling on there, but for the uh, rescue boxes. This was a good box. This was a really good box. I mean, there was no Gucci or Prada, but... I don't want Gucci or Prada. I mean, sure, if I find it at the bins, I would probably pick it up, but I would be so nervous listing those <laughs> items um, that I'd rather not mess with them. Uh, I, have a, I have a Dior listed uh, in my closet, and I'm just very nervous that they, if, if somebody buys it, that there's going to be issues with it. So, um, yeah, thread up mixed women's clothing box uh, like I said I have about $66 into this um, there were only a few items with little issues there was the one Zara skirt that didn't have a size um, but I will look it over again and see if it's maybe hiding somewhere and then there was the uh, willow and clay little blouse 
I mean, if this had been Johnny Waz, I would be on the floor passed out right now, but it's not. So, exciting box. I'm really glad I did this on camera because <laughs> um, I would have been excited all by myself. And so, yeah, we got some good stuff. It's gonna take me a while to wash, steam, photograph, and list all this. Like I said, I am a part-time reseller. Um, I am also a mom of a four-year-old, so I'm pretty busy. Um, luckily, my uh, semester just ended, so I do have some time to do other things, so I figured why not record a YouTube video. Um, and if you're watching this, then I actually worked up the courage to post it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to come back for more, um, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. Let me know if you're a full-time reseller, if you're a part-time reseller, if you've tried out these thread up boxes before, and uh, if you if you got lucky, if you liked what you got. Um, also, I'm trying to look at the camera, but it's kind of a weird setup for me here. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for joining me for this unboxing. Uh, I know this video is getting really long, so I'm gonna have to edit it. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much. Bye.